What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Ayoshi, and uh, today we are gonna react to a video uh, that has been uh, created or uh, compiled by this uh, YouTuber named by the name of Crowby Cat or Crowb Cat. I really don't know how to uh, pronounce it or how do you say it. But uh, yeah, it's all about cyberpunk, as you can see on this. They, he compiled everything from media sources and uh, news and all the lies CD Projekt Red uh, gave to us as players. I really decided to get this game, but it's a good thing that I didn't. Yeah, I really wanted to pre-order it last December. Or, I mean, November, I think, or December. But, uh, yeah, never actually did it. So, without further ado, guys, let's react to this video. But first... Okay. So uh, the video is entitled Overpromise Sell Under Delivered Cyberpunk 2077. So yeah, let's go and start and see what this video is all about. Oh, and yeah, but first, please do support my channel by giving a thumbs up or a like on the video, even comment if you want, and share, and also uh, subscribe. Yeah, smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. So. Let's go. CD Project Red. Oh, Mr. Brit, breathtaking. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline. <laughs> oh, Mr. Keanu. The feeling of of being there. Man, when I first saw it, it's so damn gorgeous. Is really going to be breathtaking. Breathtaking. You're breathtaking. This game, it has the potential to be very, very special. This is going to be an RPG. This is going to be very, very deep and very crunchy and very IGN. Difficult. This, this is the real deal. They really know what they're doing. All of it looks absolutely. Man, look at the natural. crowd. Look at the. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most anticipated games coming out Jeff next Keely. year. And uh, fingers crossed, the last E3 we'll see Cyberpunk at. Ah, <sighs> damn it. Yeah, this is the guy who apologized <laughs> on a recent video I saw. You need to properly go through everything, balance game mechanics, and fix a lot of bugs. A huge world means a huge number of things to iron out, and we will spend the additional time doing exactly and that. Now I that is bullcrap. Once again, for the third time. Yeah, Welcome it got delayed like of open world adventure. three times? In Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. Well, I nearly pre-ordered that, guys. Review embargo period. I am not allowed to show you my own Young, yeah. gameplay footage. I can only use footage provided by CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red wouldn't allow us to use our own recording. Yeah, the deceit. Review. The lies. Uh, we have our official video review coming. They didn't even want footage, uh, it, soon as we are able to. the public to see uh, their uh, own footage because of the sure, probably sure. the bugs. Oh gosh. Really? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Is he smoking puff? I mean the T pose. Oh man, this is this is so Okay, they walk through walls. I mean run through walls. Example text, examples. Uh, what? Okay. Man. This is so. <laughs> look at that. Smoke everywhere. Oh man, look at. Ah, it's like it's not even finished yet. And what are these? Taxis? Is there a parade or something? Oh, clones. We got lots of NPC clones. Oh! Man of the hour. 
Okay, man, man, man. Completely enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city. In oh yeah, this is this is what they said. This is the trailer. The streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life. Bustling. Their lives within a full day and night. Yeah, right. And this is the actual game. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely bustling, guys. Bustling. Yeah. Look at them. They're just going and going... Going forward and going back. Anything you want to get off your chest about the game that you're excited to tell us? We put so much work into <laughs> making sure that the city feels the best. We just really wanted to make sure that those people... Oh, gosh. Legion and Night City, they're really... They're real. Ooh! <laughs> Everyone's just super impressed, and the universal compliment that I'm seeing is that the world, oh, of Night City and its outskirts, there's just a, a beauty to it, a level of attention to detail. Five months before launch, seemingly okay. unparalleled. Some people are flat out saying it is the most detailed world they've ever seen in a video game. Period. Not really. Oh shoot, man! Look at those. Ah, it's like a PS3 game. I mean, lots of bugs. Look at the shadow. Wait, what? What is? Is that a train or? I don't know what that is, but it's look. The city, the environment looks bland with lots of uh, graphical glitches. Oh gosh. When you are in Night City and you're moving around Night City in first person, it's really, really exciting, and it's something that I've not seen before like this in a game. I've not ever really seen this before. Okay, yeah, look at that. It's so bland. <laughs> Guys, they're just walking. I mean, <laughs> flying through walls. Man, it's an empty world. Yeah, it's just a shame they... If they just release it like in 2022. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. What? We have bad drivers here. With the fudge. And go through the wall. Flying cars. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Whoa. Man. The, the, oh! It just keeps walking through walls. Oh man, they are possessed. Drunk drivers everywhere. NPCs just floating around. <laughs> okay, synchronized? Oh gosh, what is... What happened, guys? <laughs> Flying or jumping cars. Okay, floating cars. D don't see that every day. <laughs> oh god. Oh, man, what have they done? We were all looking forward. And we got a burning car. Damn. <laughs> Sorry guys. I just can't stop stop la laughing. <laughs> Okay, what the fudge? Okay, wow. Who's that? I think it's a really bold statement, but uh, <laughs> if you don't believe me, play our Witcher games. I yeah, I played The Witcher 3 and 2. They're great. Sending, setting totally new standard in the genre, both in terms of the gameplay, but also on the tech side. They are going to be receiving 30 million PLN, which is roughly $7 million. Man, it's all about the and money. The four proposals were focused on some very interesting game development. They goals, wanted the money fast. Which is city creation of high quality open world games. Okay. What, what now? Okay. Okay, we're... It's walking through walls. 
<laughs> Total emptiness. I mean, are the assets just uh, trying to low? Oh my gosh. And there he goes. Okay. <laughs> Invisible floor. I mean, road. Oh man, I, I, I guess the assets are not loading well. Cyberpunk 27 runs surprisingly Cyberpunk well. Was targeted Wait, at release what was people. that? Cyberpunk 2077 runs surprisingly well on current-gen consoles, according to CD Projekt CEO. This is definitely a bunch of lies. Man, they lied to us. Cyberpunk 2077 was targeted at release for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Stadia. It also is advertised as plays great on Xbox Series X and PS5. <laughs> plays great. Oh, oh, god. Get everything you need. Oh my gosh, this is game is atrocious right now. Oh <laughs> god. Oh, this is definitely PS1. Are you very focused on PC and current gen console? Our when he says current gen console, he means PS4 and Xbox One, right? Why didn't they focus on current gen? They totally focused, focused on PC. Even on PC is not perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, they, they aren't even running. Oh, delayed reaction. <laughs> I'm under fire. Move. <laughs> what? Damn. What is happening right now? What is happening, guys? Oh no, 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 no. Don't show me. Oh, this is Assassin's Creed Unity all over again. familiar with the way we make games know that we won't ship something which is not ready and of course we are looking but they shipped it either way the, um fps and we really try to make sure that the um game runs as smooth as possible and smooth at this stage of the production wow. we are at the moment right where we are like optimizing really smooth the and putting lots of work into like finding ways okay how to make you know night city run really smooth we've both just played a four-hour session of Cyberpunk 2077. I bet it's the PC version. Cyberpunk 2077. Alana. The three of us just played four hours of Cyberpunk each. A game spot. Our full-on experience of the first part of the game. So here's one picture where they have a bunch of computers just decked out. Yeah, they're PCs. Wow. It was fucking awesome. I'm really excited. There's so much. Yeah, they're promoting it. There's so much to do. <laughs> but it's all lies. I was absolutely blown away with the experience. I had my doubts given the trailer and how good it looked. Uh, they have delivered. Everyone agrees that Oh, yeah. 2077 so far is living up to the hype. CDPR not anymore. Pre-order stats: eight million copies pre-ordered, but 41% of those pre-order sales came from console gamers who did not really know what this game looked like outside of highly curated videos released specifically from the developer leading up to launch. We want to continue to give you a closer Damn. look at the game running on console. Since going gold, and CD Projekt. I mostly watch all of the promotion videos. Fun. Because I was hyped. And enhancing the gameplay but damn, graphics. man. The gameplay you see today already includes a great number of those fixes. What? This is not true. PlayStation 4 Pro? Hell no. December 10th. Cyberpunk 2077 marries... I don't believe it. ...of a vast open world with kinetic combat, story-changing player choices, and robust character development. Cyberpunk has been taken off the PlayStation Store. You can no <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. digitally... And Sony is now officially offering yeah. refunds. Even if you press done, you will find that no results 
available for cyberpunk. yeah cyberpunk is now gone from the playstation store customers to get indefinitely the console version until was further notice and so we didn't really get to see what it looked like cd project red has officially apologized for not showing the base ps4 and xbox one versions of cyberpunk 2077 before launch yeah we should have paid more attention making it play better on the ps4 and xbox one <laughs> oh gosh what do you want supercar big house you want to rule now look at the cg movies well you ain't getting anywhere without an upgrade <laughs> you gotta have a ps4 i mean a ps5 in order to play it ain't gonna be easy uh wait uh oh, <laughs> oh god what is this what just happened what just happened what the fudge aim for the driver aim for the driver aim for, aim for the driver dude <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. This is so damn funny. Oh, is this Johnny Cage? You assholes won't take me alive. Oh my game God. Of Cyberpunk 2077 that's getting all the rave has reportedly been plagued <laughs> with bugs and crashes. Everyone who yeah. is not willing to wait for updates and want to refund their digital copy can do so by submitting a oh, request. Oh yeah, I've watched this. Ship a live service, always online title. You have to be connected. You have to be committed to downloading updates. Look at that this size. Because if you don't have internet, you're screwed. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What if you bought the game, a physical game, and you don't have internet, you can't patch it. So it's totally unplayable. What is he doing? Oh gosh. They're floating soldiers. I mean. Oh, oh. Where did that woman come from? Whoa, oh okay. okay spawn behind you not even around the corner no directly behind you <laughs> damn okay oh okay it exploded Wow, that is how you call an explosion. Wow, Saints Row. Guys, follow me if you want to see Saints Row 4. I stream it daily. Now, this is a... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh! Okay, Grand Chapel out of 4. See? That, and now that is physics. But what the hell is... Wow, those are indestructible. Those are titanium bars. Yeah, I've seen videos, they keep comparing it with the old Grand Theft Auto games, and wow, the physics, these old games are much, much way better than what they did with a Cyber. <laughs> He's one stiff person. Refine, really? It doesn't even come close to Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, where's the splash of water? There's no freaking splash of water. What's with the f water physics? It's totally gone. 
this is Grand Theft Auto 4. How old is this game? See? There's a splash. And this is Mafia from 2002. And look at the water. He's shooting it and there's splash. <laughs> uh, what was happening right now? Oh, he's trying to... See? They're trying to... Walk away. Because they're being, uh... Warned. Something. How do, you, how do you say that in English? Busina. <laughs> okay. It's all, uh... Okay, but the... Only the windows are breakable. And this is Grand Theft Auto V, which came out 2013, right? Yeah. And look at the damn detail. You can like shoot everything on the vehicle. Okay, but they don't get... They don't really get scared and react. See? Now that is what you call AI. They are panicking. Oh, time lapse. Wow. <laughs> what? Lego City? Undercover. Okay. And this is a Lego game, guys. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, now that is physics. That is physics. And this is from Grand Theft Auto 4. So how do you rob a place? Carrying a gun and it totally disappears when you go inside. Can't even shoot it. Oh! And it disappears. And he's in... <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, this is Saints Row 1. Man's take it easy, and I'll take you to the safe. See? That's how you rob in a game. Man. And this is from 2006, Saints Row. Can they even reference old games? And try to so, apply and it I'm in Cyberpunk. I'm honored to announce that uh, we are working on a Cyberpunk game, but not just a regular Cyberpunk game, on the Cyberpunk game. Imagine a rich and futuristic world with ultra-modern technology. Broken Gibson, promises. The godfather of Cyberpunk, as mm. it were, great dismal on Twitter. He said that it just looked like GTA V with a kind of 80s generic Cyberpunk theme slapped over it. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the... Ah, I don't know, that thing. That magic. <laughs> Keep in mind that what you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the... Lies. <laughs> what would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? Or told Royce about the agent and her plans? Or just decided to buy the bot ourselves? So many options. So many possibilities. Yeah, I, I watched this video. I was totally impressed. Through the game world and your story. Who would who wouldn't get hyped? Yeah, yeah, that's just one quest. Yeah, exactly. That is one of the most overstated parts of this game. It is not like that. It is not that interactive. It is not that tree branches type of things where yeah. everybody that plays the game. And what's the sense of a uh, experience? That's genitals being able to. This will really. Make, make them big or small. Very unique. What's the sense? Right? Not only the way you play it, the way you attention to detail, the, world, the way you talk to people, I don't know. all that kind of stuff. Like if you look at all the little choices that accumulate through the game, no playthrough will basically be like lies. Ninety-five percent of the dialogue. I'll never trust CD Projekt Red again. As you can see, we have many possible options, but in each case, we take a risk. It's our choice if we want to finish her off or spare her. Your cyberpunk, your rules. 
the reality is that if you spare her, nothing happens. And that was just a glimpse of how complex the branching storyline in Cyberpunk oh. 2077 can get. Every hey, I haven't played the game, guys, so I can't really, uh, will shape how the world reacts to you and affect um, your relationships with those around say anything about one of those relationships the missions or anything, but ever heard of Johnny just Silver? seeing these... Wow. You're that is not Keanu. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City. Oh my gosh, a total downgrade. ...is located inside a mega building. A huge building complex that forms a micro society of its own. Your stash is a secure system for storing equipment and can be accessed from all of your available safe houses and vehicles. All safe houses and vehicles, it says. Cyberpunk 27 will let players purchase multiple apartments. And yet, you can't, I guess? Absolutely, you will be able to buy a couple of apartments in different locations. Right now, at the moment, we're not planning you know, for you to buy different apartments. Because, you know, Cyberpunk's a very story-focused adventure. Cyberpunk is an RPG at heart. Uh, I can't stress that enough. People have been doubting that, but actually, I think... Oh, it's not an RPG now. They totally even, uh, changed the description now. Find a way to the genre. What level an enemy actually is. So you never know exactly how easy or how difficult a fight is going to be. This is an RPG. So before we get into our appearance, we need to define our backstory. In the Why didn't side, they focus on RPG elements? Has three sort of origins that we can pick. I mean, what are they and how do they actually affect the gameplay? Nothing. Oh, okay. None. You're like, so, yes, let's go. I bet none. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Whoever played this game, can you tell me? Okay. So, Does it affect it? Uh, you actually start off being a completely different person. Now, what is important with that... Well, look, look at the hype in his... The way he... Say it. Our best in a quest and yet it's all lies. All those, like, three, I would say, main ways to go through this This story. is PR. Of course, player can, like... This is marketing. ...match any time, you know, any way. Uh, to hype voice, everyone to uh, buy it. Something that we take from the very beginning till the very end. The life paths have no impact on how any of the story <laughs> plays out and are all just really short, really stilted, 20 minute intro sections that all See? end with the player watching the exact was right. same cutscene, no matter what you picked. Cyberpunk same cutscene, same story, slightly shorter than Witcher 3. same events, a lot of complaints no matter how about Witcher 3 you choose story just being too long. on your backstory. Metrics, you see wow. tremendous numbers of people played through that game really far, but never made it to the end. We want you to see this whole story. So we did shorten the main story. The choices you make will shape your story and determine how events yeah. unfold. Trailers are awesome. Okay, the trailers. Life and death. But the final game? It's about style, choosing your look. You're right. Your pastime, who's at your side? Choosing how you spend your dirty money. Oh man. Oh now this is the actual game, right? See how empty it is? Wow. It's so damn quiet. Look, it's not a uh, li living and breathing world you're never going to be in a situation where you're like i need to get in there i need to get in there and then you go and you're like oh i can't get in there because oh yeah i remember that it's they promised that you can enter endless every building and endless lies. Oh, God. chefs are not even doing nothing they're just like standing around on the trailer, they're like cooking, doing some stuff, their daily routines, and yet, as you can see, nothing. Could they're just... Be worse. A big part of our RPG experience see? Look at is this. a world that is interactive. This is what you're gonna pay for, and, and this is what you get. Look at the flame. It's a floating. <laughs> and you get burned. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Man, this sucks. Why would you get in and <laughs> really? What? <laughs> 
Okay, this is so bizarre and uh, <laughs> if you're playing your it's very very uh annoying and uh depressing you'll get pissed a lot <laughs> synchronous what 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 they do that <laughs> Whoa, what happened here? Oh, oh my. <laughs> no, please don't. I've respected disabled. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to me. Okay. Uh, we're on a gym, right? I'm begging. <laughs> Let me go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I beg you. You're not even even trying to fight back. Life is full of disappointment. Gosh, what is happening right now? I'm totally disappointed. Like this is the the game that really hyped everyone is a mature visceral experience and as such it will let you explore a variety of different interactions with the game world and as you just saw it's people <laughs> now we can walk <laughs> okay he's limping you things are about to get heated Oh. Wow. Okay, this is the 2018 revealed, which was awesome. Uh. What? What was that? Looks like the scavengers earlier are still. Okay, this is chase scene I I've seen on the reveal trailer. Encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. And look at the, 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 the graphics and the... We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. <laughs> it's totally unfinished. Look at the, da the damn road. It's not even finished. Is the city fully explorable or are there restricted areas? Um, it's gonna no, be a DLC, I really bet you, but a after what happened, I bet game. it's one of those places where expectations will never get finished. Collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Oh my gosh. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good I'm idea. speechless, guys. Motorbike or armor plated car would be what have I option. what have they done? How much customization is there for vehicles? Colors, decals, and none. <laughs> um, yeah. So while we don't we don't really have that much customization in the game for the cars, um, what we do have is different variants of cars. These are for choos who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Their powerful yeah. engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for two. What? You you do not really customize them. What you do, you actually own. They just said exchangeable vehicles. parts. What's and that all about? You can find different vehicles that have been already tuned up. Uh, lies, but bunch you of lies. Do it, uh, yourself. Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so bland. Whoa. What? He just got shot for in the head and he just ran away. Welcome to the city of gonk dreams. <laughs> yeah. Cyberpunk 2077. Out in the world, and he just welcomed him. If you suddenly become violent, then people will respond to that. So as an example, you know, the NCPD might start chasing you. Uh. 
What are they doing? Okay, they're just watching us. I mean, watching him. I don't deserve this. <laughs> Bully the guy or bunch the living daylights out of that NPC. And what are they doing? They're just staring. Man, the AI is atrocious. No, you will put that away. What will I put away? I got kids, man. Oh, guys, this is so disappointing. Take him out. See, this is from 2001, GTA 3. Has better AI. My goodness gracious. And this is a sleeping dog. And that's what you call justice. From the police. See, you hijack a car and the police just shoot you. And what is happening? Okay, the car's gonna explode now. See? Okay, this is from Saints Row 2006. Don't think you can talk your way Busted. Out. So, Grand Theft Auto. And there's the police again, just... I think they're blind. For some reason. Uh... Hey, what are you doing? I don't know, they're just shooting at me. Do again. Oh god. Why? Why? <laughs> Nico Bellic from Grand Theft Auto 4. Is that for enough time for the team? Are you guys confident that the game will be ready by then and good to go by April 16th? Well, that's a bit of a weird question because, I mean, if we wouldn't, then we wouldn't. Yeah, lie, lie some more. Studio um, is one that really puts quality above everything and uh, this is also reassuring for me as a developer like I know we will not ship this game if it isn't ready by the time we, we uh, I think he's eating his words right uh, now ship it. yeah pre-order now uh -huh. what a waste based on that legacy of genuine and honest oh, here we go the latest video from the ordered our game Despite good reviews on PC, the console version of Cyberpunk 2077 did not meet the quality standard we wanted it to meet. Every change and improvement needed to be tested, and as it turned out, our testing did not show a big part of the issues you experience. While In short, you lied, okay? There's been a lot of talk that CD Projekt Red was going to be sued for misrepresentation, and now apparently the one of four law firms that was planning yeah, to sue CD Projekt Red have actually CDPR got sued. Them on behalf of persons or entities who purchased or otherwise acquired publicly traded CD Projekt securities between January 16th, 2020 and December 17th, 2020. Now, does that date, January 16th, ring a bell? It should. January 16th is when CD Projekt put out this statement. We are currently at a stage where the game is complete and oh, man, they lied. To be done. They lied, they lied, they lied. It was the precious months we need to make the game perfect. Precious months class action lawsuits against CD Projekt because of deceitful practices that not only fooled yeah, customers on our local the local shop here at uh, Data Blitz or any it's all yellow they're all promoting cyberpunk actually it's worse than that their share prices dropped for over 45 and their main target was most players were from the consoles software engineering but as is so often the case that also means it's a failure in business too. You should have focused on the console. For over a year, it's pretty obvious that CD Projekt Red was trying to fix both time and scope at the same time. People will be burned out and working less effectively. Anybody that's tried working that hard for that long knows what I'm talking about. Uh, on the project in total, it's 
it's between four and five hundred people, I think, working on the game. So we've got all of those people working on the game. Um, have we ex have you experienced any times of uh, like? Man, I feel bad for the developers. Time. Yeah, well, you know, hundred hour weeks, you know, sixty hour weeks type yeah. deal when you when you end up going through. We're not. We don't really like to talk about it too much because it's a little bit too controversial, and and we're more here like to talk. You just about the don't want to admit like that the, there was crunch. Life around the game. We do everything ourselves. So yeah. if we suck somewhere, it's on us. It's nobody <laughs> else to blame. But. If it's a success, it's yeah. the success of the people and of the teams, and and we are yeah, right. actually I am immensely proud of it, and I think, uh, I think now I don't believe this guy anymore. Really, nobody telling us what to do. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks to you and for pushing our industry forward continually. Guys, give it up. Yeah, clap all you want. So choose the games you want to play. There are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made and legends to become I fell. together. Thanks. I like this guy. Have a great evening. Come touch me like <laughs> Oh no, there's a man. Have a look in uh, my eyes. Music. My Just gotta forward it. Makes sense. Yeah, it's been uh, promoted, everything, blah, 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 blah. They even have, see, uh, the promotional uh, figure. Ah, uh, jeez. They even made a, uh, I think it, it was a contest to make a uh, custom case for a PC. And this is even a uh, RTX 2080 Ti customized as a cyberpunk. Yeah, socks, all the merchandise. Yeah, and even uh, gaming chairs. Oh man. <laughs> oh now look at that. Look at that. Jeez. Oh gosh. Oh man, I feel sorry for the developers. Oh my man Keanu, what have they done? You're not so breathtaking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he has a ba backup baits or aviators. <laughs> okay, enough of the music. Might get a copyright claim. Fortune favors the stupid too. Now what? This is Keanu talking. I'm ask for a refund. <laughs> refund. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I think it's done. Um, this is a video made by um, Pro. What's his name again? <laughs> I'll just put on the link on the description down below, guys. And uh, you should uh, also try and look at his channel. He has a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, yeah. I, okay. For me, my my last words on this game. Maybe after a year of more patches if they could make this like what they did with uh the witcher 3 how or even the guys from uh are they called hello games the the guys who made um yeah i forgot about that yeah, they patched it and they were able to uh make it look good again they redeemed themselves it has sky something I totally forgot. So yeah, I'll just have to wait guys. But uh, for all of you who already played the game and join it, enjoyed it, enjoy it. Yeah, good for you. So uh, as for me, I'm just going to wait for it to be perfectly bug free with all the patches and all. Maybe they're, they're going to uh maybe i don't know uh, game of the year edition something like that or uh maybe they'll release a a version of a uh, cyberpunk the bug free edition something like that and then i'll be play being able to play it and maybe stream it for you guys so uh anyway guys i'm going to end the video for now this is just a reaction video of uh yeah this video was suggested for suggested by a friend 
And yeah, I keep seeing it on uh, my newsfeed also on Facebook. So uh, I'm going to end it for now, guys. But before I end, please do support my channel by again smashing that subscribe button if you haven't yet. So till next time, this is me, Ayoshi, saying peace out and power to the gamer. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Till next time, do really do.